What's up, people? Dobbs Wolves is right here, and uh, today is the 18th of the 5th, 2021. Um, yesterday, it was the day when um, our Prime Minister Boris Johnson and everybody else around the world, um, we could actually meet people properly and everything, and you can finally hug them. So, it's been um, a quite an emotional thing yesterday that a lot, a lot of people have been doing, but today is my day. Well, it's not really just my day, it's mine and Beth's day. Because we are going on a road trip. We are heading to York to a very special retro game shop called Sore Thumb. And it pulls out some amazing products there. And hopefully we can record inside and see what they have. And besides that, we're going to try and have a look around York as much as we can for what we've got left today. Well, I'll see you when we pick up Beth. Bye! Now in York, hopefully we can find other things as well if we can look around. But we have found it. Saw some retro games. Hopefully we're going to find something awesome in here. Let's go and have a look inside, shall we? Oh, look at that! Look at that! No old advertisement for Biohazard and Castlevania Bloodlines. That's some awesome stuff in here. Let's yeah, go and have a look inside. Is it alright to film in there, pal? Yeah, absolutely fine. Cheers, man. What's, you, uh, what's it? Was it YouTube? Or? YouTube, where uh, folk YouTubers. Yeah, man, if you give it a shout out, I would appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Mate, look at all that. I know, some amazing. Look at all the PlayStation ones. Is it? Mm. 
this new tires on. Hopefully, you might find your Tigger. And your Tigger game. <laughs> So it goes, it'll be T. Or it could be Disney. Maybe it has T, T. Tomb, tomb, tomb theme. Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. Yeah, they ain't got it. I should have it. <laughs> Tween is <years>, bro. <laughs> Too. Oh, it's for treats. Well, I'll look around. If you want any, any shots or anything particularly cool, just give me a shout as well. Pull stuff out. Sweet. Great, Sweet. thanks, Belle. No Bloody hell, I remember that. That was for your old mobile phone years ago when you were a kid. Do you have a Japanese PS2? Do you have a Japanese PS2? It's 40 quid yeah. though. Yeah. Oh my god. So it will be dragon, what the hell? Dragon, dragon lair. Uh, I want it. Can you put it on though? I'll show you, I'm sure you can. Holy crap. Is it slim that in it? Yeah. All the Mega Drive games and everything. I like that helmet that looks fucking far too expensive. They have a Doctor Who police box. <laughs> they have loads of stuff in here. Yo, found you found it? You found your long after game? I found it. You finally found I it? I found it. No way. That's the first ever game I played on the PS1. Uh, it looks like you'll be getting it. Yeah, free Damn right you are. Damn right I am. Well, I just found my record. I've been looking ages for that. Never. Literally no one's had it except me. <laughs> <laughs> we try, we try. Well, I've just awesome. found my vinyl record for Tetris. Really? Yeah. I can't believe that. Got the Pokeballs from the Pokemon Center in Japan as well. Because it's, it's Disney at the front, it's not too. Yeah. So it was in B. Hey, I'm laughing. <laughs> They've got all the Pokemon badges. Oh yeah? So yeah? A HD converter. That's probably for your um, old consoles. Label on the top, but I can't read it from where I am on WhatsApp. I think it's like a Japanese label from when we bought it, so we didn't want to take it off. 
I've I've messaged him. I'll just get a message soon for uh, for that. Can do it for two hundred and twenty. Oh, that's how much is that available? Yeah, sorry. For six quid. I'll go down there. I know little figurines. How much six, is it? Six quid. I might be that's it. Box as well. And I need one from Rogue One. I it's fifteen. Oh my god. There we go. Final Fantasy 12 by the look of it. So that kind of nice sick print on there. Yeah, it's reading that me. At least I got another thing from Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's sick. That's, 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 that's awesome. What other stuff is there that's Final Fantasy? Everything in here is Final Fantasy. Literally, this is the Final Fantasy cabinet, so. Yeah, you should see my cabinet. <laughs> this is good. It's pretty much got every single Final Fantasy game known to man, English and English and Jap. They have clock tower as well. Yeah, we only recently got that in actually. Shadow Hearts, only on Call of Duty training cards. Uh, yeah. Oh man, Castlevania. That's um, Castlevania with um, the. Um, Pretty much it's like the remaster, isn't it? You can play that one. Who's in that? Lying in the King too. <laughs> That's really rare, that is. That's super rare. Isn't it 100 quid? Yeah. It's a knockoff to Lion King game. Yeah, but that's why it's rare, because sometimes the knockoff one's actually worth more than Disney <laughs> games. <laughs> so look at that, Mega Man X3, £120. What's the got? Buzz. Why didn't I see that? <laughs> oh Why my the god. One? It's the old original one? Yeah. How much?
Awas kem. He's OG that. Bit of a scrub up. Easy clean up he is. You can tell he's OG because you can move his fingers individually. He's a collector's item now. Uh -huh. Ask him how much. Games in here, it's insane. They have Pokemon coming out of their eyes, some very rare stuff and some very common stuff. But what's awesome though, do you guys remember what you guys were telling me about about the repos and everything that people were making randomly? And you, you guys were asking me to try and play them on the PC. Well, these guys have actually got them actually as cartridges. So, look at me, I just pretty much purchased one of them, which is the one I pretty much found out that it's one of the fan favourites which is Ash Grey. Looks quite awesome. There's so many little tiny little trinkets and everything. Load of fan boxes stuff. But there's Final Fantasy stuff I was coming out of your eyes. No, no Kingdom Hearts, but I pretty much asked the um, I pretty much talk, spoke to the um, the seller, and it's pretty much all stuff that's like Kingdom Hearts or Persona pretty much sells in a matter of minutes. So not surprised to be honest, but wow, really, really awesome collection. It's like I've never seen that in Japan. And I was so close to buying it, but like I said, couldn't bring it back home because I ran out of space in my actual, my actual luggage. Crash of the Titans, Japanese one, the Godfather collection. So much little tiny bits, Lara Croft, E.T. from home. Just so much stuff. And the Resident Evil ones that ice too. And like, you guys know what I've got. You guys know I've got that, and that's £100. But oh no, that one was so crazy when I saw. Signed, King of Sports, New Japan Pro Wrestling. But also a badge for the Ultimate Warrior. It's insane. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, hoodie.
what you see here is the art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> What's it, that? Sa it says we're open 7am to 8pm. <laughs> what type of art is inside it? I don't know. <laughs> Picture art. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, it's closed. If only it was open. Just full of weapons and swords and daggers from Game of Thrones. Oh God, no. Oh no, nah, it's got a doll. Pretty feather hats, two mantles rich and fine. We all got swallow hugs, in tankers of good wine. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Didn't think they would be renovating the, the place. It's gonna take him freaking years. What do you think, Beth? It's a Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> we're in France. France? No. no, I'm joking. We're in York in England. <laughs> it's actually really cool. <laughs> like fire. <laughs> Hell fire. <laughs> like fire. Hell fire. What are you doing? Staring him down. You need to stare him down to get yourself a wish. Stare him down. Stare him down. Why have you got to pay for it? <laughs> you got to pay for it. <laughs> 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 Not pop a good echo, is it? No. I'll I'll do a bit of editing. You saw my shoe back up. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back home. Um, I know that we didn't film a lot of your, but literally time flew by like there was no tomorrow. Probably in the near future we may go back to York and actually look at everything all over the place. But literally at this moment in time, pretty much massive, massive shout out to Sore Thumb Retro Games. They are absolutely phenomenal. Literally, if you guys want to know more about them, I'll put every single bit about them in the description down below. So please go ahead and follow them, like their page on Facebook, give them a follow, and also let them know that I brought you to them. But also as well, thanks to as well to Sore Thumb, we got ourselves a special mug and a special bag because we became big hitters in the shop, meaning we bought a crap ton of stuff. So pretty much I want to show you what we've pretty much bought today. So first off, let's go down to the down here first. In this box right here, really quick, I can't really open it at this moment in time, but pretty much what it is, is Pokemon um, Ash Catchem's story. So pretty much it's a rom-com, mainly a proxy game, which is actually the story of Ash Catchem from the Pokemon series. So it's a game about Ash, so that's awesome. I bought myself um, Resident Evil Code Veronica X on the PlayStation 1, the black label version, because I was actually missing the original disc for it. Now I do. I was happy with it, so that's why I got it. It was quite a good steal as well. But these two is definitely for my prize collection. And they are brand spanky new, sealed, Final Fantasy 12 and Final Fantasy 10 2. Never been touched, never been opened. What a find, what a grab. I was so happy we actually found it. If there was if there was Final Fantasy 10, I would have definitely gone AWOL and just bought the lot. Right, pretty much what these are, these are pretty much NES um, cartridge holders, so pretty much if you have like loose cartridges like I do, these pretty much keep away from the dust, and also, as you guys know, there is some rarer ones which I'll actually have the name Nintendo, they're the ones you would want to look for if you want for an actual collection, but pretty much any of the others I'm perfectly happy to keep on hold. Move down here, didn't get these two products from Sore Thumb, but I might as well tell you that you guys know what these are if you guys are knowing my Pokemon collection. Shining Fates, extremely rare, extremely expensive, 
But boy oh boy, I got this with a very nice steal. I got this for around about, I think it was like 50 odd quid. Pretty much these boxes now go for around about 100 to 110 quid on eBay. So I was super happy I found this. And once again, um, another product. Sold out all over Manchester. And they literally had a whole case of them. And they are the ghosts from the past. We opened up a few of these on my channel already. Well, they're not even uploaded yet because they're scheduled recording. But I bought myself a whole case of them so we can have our cross our fingers. We can get our luck on getting a ghost rare dark magician which is worth around about 700 quid now move over to the big hitters these are insane finds right first off though demos very very cool demos pretty much ps2 demos a lot of them to be honest and some ps1 demos some of them actually if you want to make sure look on what the demos are because sometimes they may have a rare game in it and if it's a rare game you got some history in your hand so Make sure you check them out, people, because you may find a very good and like, I don't know, Persona 3 FES or Resident Evil 4. You don't know what you may find. Or Laura Croft. Or Laura Croft, of course, but <laughs> it's not that rare, is it? No, no, but it's still a <laughs> decent game. I found something that I actually really do love, and that's soundtracks. This is Final Fantasy, the villains soundtrack. This is from the PSP game. Um, absolutely awesome and it's pretty much in mint condition it's even got its own sleeve what else can you what else can you say now this <laughs> this this is what I've been so excited when, now, I, when I found out this is a big find peeps this is a Final Fantasy 12 PlayStation 2 but there's a catch it's a Japanese one and why do you think, people ask me, why do I want a Japanese PS2? It's because I don't have a PlayStation 2 that's Japanese. That means I can play any of my games that I got from Japan that were PS2s and PS1s. Now I can. That's awesome. Besides that though, we got ourselves a retro selfie figurine from Final Fantasy VIII. Pretty much immaculate condition. Definitely going to try and open it soon and put it on the display. We got ourselves the um, Final Fantasy um, Trading Arts Minis, which is the Soldier of Light from Final Fantasy 1. Two different versions of him, one without his helmet and one with his helmet. So definitely going to have them on display. The next thing, before the big massive hitter, is the Square Millennium Collection. As you guys know what Millennium is, it's like 2000s. So this must have come out when it hit the, the year 2000, because this is Final Fantasy Tactics. And I can actually show you right now. Without it, goes, it falling without out me all falling over the, out place. the box. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot it fell out like that. Pretty much, you get the game, you get the manual, but inside, look at that beauty. It's a clock with, I don't know what this is. I really have no idea. That is, is that a tape? It, it looks like a videotape. Like look, a yeah, recorder? Yeah, like a recorder tape. I have to research it, but really, I am not really want to open any of it because, like I said. It should say it on the back, shouldn't it? It doesn't even say anything on the back. Doesn't it? It's that, it's that odd. I've never seen this before. But I know it is a Japanese game. I know it is because we definitely did not get that in the UK. Nope. But the last thing though, was one hell of a find. I found this in Japan last time I went and it pained me to say I could have bought it back over there, but I couldn't get it shipped over here because I didn't have a clue how to. And I couldn't put it in my luggage because it was too darn heavy. It felt like a body. And it's right here. Final Fantasy VII, The Advent Children, Abent Pieces Limited. It's massive. I don't really want to open it in front of you guys because it's massive. So right now, I'm showing you a picture right now of what is inside it. Literally, there's so much stuff in there. A t-shirt, a DVD, the Final Fantasy VII game, all the discs. You got yourself the mug, you get yourself the action figure, and Cloud Strive's motorbike. And you guys know how much Cloud's motorbike goes for nowadays, even on the internet. And all this is in here, brand spanking new. So, to be honest, 
this has been one hell of a fine today. I don't think I'll have, ever have a massive fine like this in a long ass time. Probably when I go back to Japan and I do find something amazing. But at this moment in time, I don't think nothing will ever beat this. So once again, a massive thank you to Soul Thumb for having all this slot because if you guys didn't have all this slot, I'd probably have been walking away empty handed. But thank you, you have my support and you guys know that I already do follow you. And like I said people, please check them out because they are awesome. And also a special thank you to Beth for being my camera, camera woman, camera frying pan. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Fair enough. <laughs> um, and uh, did you enjoy it though, Beth? Yeah, I freaking enjoyed it. We had um, a really good time in York today. It was retro games. I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I probably might unpack in a bit. And it was freaking awesome. The weather was good. The trip was good. And I had so much fun. But go and check them out. What are they called again? <laughs> it was Soul from Retro Games. Soul from Retro Games. Go check them out. If you don't, you're missing out. And don't forget, you actually found your one and only long sawned after PlayStation 1 game, your Tiger game, your Tiger game. Yeah, I've been looking for f how many years I've been looking now? Go do it. I've been looking for Tigger's Honey Pot Hunt for like, what, the whole, the whole entire year. And I actually found it in this place. Go and check them out. They've literally got so many PS1 games, so many PS2 games and so many retro stuff. I even got a retro old Buzz Lightyear and it was awesome. Uh, you could tell it was um, an old one because it doesn't have Andy on the bottom of his feet and his fingers move individually. I got um, a Darth Vader, about that big. Size of a toddler. <laughs> that size of a toddler. I got Tigger's Honey Pot Hunt, I got Monsters Inc. on the PS1 and I got I got the same game as you, didn't I? Yeah, you got me. You got Code Runner Corrects as well, but the Platinum version. Yeah, because at the moment I'm collecting all the Resident Evils, and I'm just missing. You're missing Resident Evil Four, Resident Evil Remake Two and Three, and Seven and Eight. Seven and Eight. No, you've already got Seven. No, I've got Seven. I just need Eight. So yeah, yeah it was awesome. Such an awesome day. I had fun. Me and Dobbs had so much fun. So please go check them out, because why the fuck not? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It was awesome. But I probably will record my Yu-Gi-Oh unpacking in like ten minutes. So we'll cool. see. We'll see. We'll see what she packs. See you in a bit.